The image of students in their red gowns, walking along the St Andrews Pier, has become synonymous with our university. Every Sunday, students walk from St Salvatore's Chapel down to St Andrews Harbour. They walk the lower section of the pier, climb the ladder at the end, make their way back along the pier's upper wall and return to town. But where did this quaint tradition come from and why has it persisted amongst the student population? Many stories have been shared amongst students to explain why they take part in the pier walk. A common idea is that the tradition has been around since the university began in medieval times. And so, students see themselves as continuing a tradition that was started by those that came long before. In April 1939, an article in the Dundee Courier wrote how the red gown students walking to the end of St Andrew's Old Stone Pier were following ancient custom. This idea holds attraction as students are given the opportunity to feel close to the university's history and create a bond with their counterparts from years gone by. One of the most popular and widely shared stories of the origin of the pier walk is that it remembers the bravery of local hero John Honey. Honey, a 19-year-old student, was attending a service at St Salvatore's Chapel in January 1800 when news broke that the ship Janet of Macduff was sinking in St Andrew's Bay. Honey bravely ran to the town harbour and carried out a daring rescue in treacherous conditions to rescue five men from the wreck. The university has commemorated John Honey's actions in various ways, including a stained glass window in St Salvatore's Chapel, as well as a prize in his name given by the Students' Association to any student who makes an outstanding and exceptional contribution to student well-being during their time at St Andrews. So, the peer walk can be understood as another form of this commemoration, a way for students to celebrate the bravery of one of their own. Dr Christine McGladry, undergraduate from 1978 to 1982, expands. A lot of people in my first year anyway were made aware of the, um, the association with John Honey and um, the rescue from the shipwreck. Mm -hmm. um, we, we kind of got told a, a false story back then. We'd have told he was died res rescuing them, and he didn't. He died some years later. But um, it, it, it was that idea of sort of, you know, I suppose student valour and hero heroism in, in, in sort of helping those um, stranded sailors. Interestingly, when Professor Margaret Connolly began her first year as an undergraduate in St Andrews, a year after Dr McGladdery graduated, she did not hear the story of John Henry's bravery in relation to the peer walk. Instead, there were different tales circulating amongst the student population, which Professor Connolly recollects. I can't unpick really between sort of what's meant to be fact and what's meant to be um, sort of myth here. Mm. I, I think we knew that students were supposed to go down to the pier to welcome the preacher. That was where it had come from mm -hmm. um, because the preacher used to arrive by boat. But there's another conflicting tradition, which is that um, the male students had been so um, disgusted at the um, admission of women to the university Right. That they had gone down to the pier and thrown their mortarboards into the sea. And that's where why we don't have mortarboards. Okay. Um, now, I don't know what the truth is of either of these traditions, I realise, telling you yeah. now. Um, <laughs> and maybe they're both true, but they're both different occasions. And mm. I'm not sure what gives, gives rise to the, the tradition of the pier walk. But I, I feel we knew these stories. Whilst these tales have been based mainly in the beliefs of the student population, another origin story comes from Sir James Irvine, Principal of the University from 1921 to 1952. In his memoir, he argues that the pier walk actually developed out of another tradition, the rector drag. In 1911, students met their then rector, Lord Rosebery, at the end of St Andrew's Pier as he had arrived for the university's 500th anniversary celebrations in his yacht. They then escorted him to his carriage on the top of Kirk Hill and dragged him to the principal's house. The origins of the pier walk remain shrouded in mystery, but it is arguably this that makes the tradition all the more intriguing. The lack of a definitive story of origin has definitely not prevented the pier walk from becoming a firm part of the University of St Andrews student experience. Overall, it is clear that the pier walk, like so many other traditions, is shaped by what the participants make of it. Today, there may be some students who feel they are walking in the footsteps of those who came before them, be those students going to welcome preachers or their rector, or others who are walking to celebrate the daring rescue of a young student. 
there may be female students walking in confidence in the face of those who protested their right to be at the university 130 years ago. However, for most students, it seems to be that simply the enjoyment of participating in this unique tradition is what draws them to St Andrew's Pier on Sundays. It was just a case of, well, what are we going to do today? Let's 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 go for a walk. Um, <laughs> let, let's this looks interesting. Let's get involved. But I, I don't think I was ever really aware you know, of the traditions behind it. You know, you did it because it was a fun thing to do, I suppose, yeah. as opposed to really knowing the the ins and outs of the whole thing. It was very impressive sight, but you would get this amazing sort of looking back, huge line of red gowns, and it was the red gown wearing that really made it a spectacle. It was a moving sight, actually. You would never have gone down there and found that you were the you know one of very few people. It always it was a kind of magnet for a Sunday. We all knew that 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 was a, a thing that was strongly associated with St Andrews. We knew, you know, was supposed to be going on, and we wanted to be part of it. I think. 